Hello YouTube community, my name is the Jackie 13 and today we're going to be doing a nice little post commentary. I've got some stories to tell and today's story is a beaut. However, before we jump into the story, I would just like to address the gameplay in the background. Um, I am playing Crush Hour, it's an awesome fun game. You play as uh, WWE superstars and they have all these little like unique cars. You get special finishing moves, it's great stuff. Uh, you should check it out. I don't think that anybody views, anybody is really going to be able to find it. Um, it was on PlayStation 2 and GameCube are the two consoles that I remember playing it on. Though it might have also been on the original Xbox. Not quite sure. Anyway, so the uh, gameplay that's behind what I'm trying to say now is uh, immediately after I had finished the recording from the last one. So if you didn't watch the last one, don't worry. This isn't going. To, um, my commentary is not going to. Uh, relate back to that in any way shape or form. I just wanted to let you know So the topic of discussion today um, Are about is about two different games that I've introduced to um, My school and basically gotten them into it uh, Over the course of these four years that I've been there. I'm now a senior in my high school um, I've made a lot of friends. We've done a lot of cool stuff and I've introduced them to a lot of different games however Two, maybe even four, I could go with four, uh, but two of them are like the more important ones. Um, have games have really proliferated and become a main staple of a lot of people that play uh, video games on computers in the computer lab when they have nothing else to do. The first thing has actually been turned into a learning tool, and uh, I wasn't the only person who brought this there, but I was one of the uh, main contributors among my friends, and um, eventually uh, the game became so popular that um, even if I hadn't had introduced it to them, people would have found out about it. And that is Minecraft. It is one of the most sold games of all time, if not the most sold game. I don't know the exact numbers of copies sold for every uh, game in the world, but I think it's one of the most sold, if not the most sold game in history. Um, the game was amazing back in the day uh, when I used to play it a lot. Um, in my opinion, uh, it hasn't done as much as I was hoping it would do by this point. There's a lot of different mods and stuff that made the game really fun, but they haven't implemented a lot of what the mods have done into the actual game, per se, and so therefore I don't enjoy uh, the game as much. Plus, after a little while playing the same game just gets boring, but uh, over at my school I had introduced them to Minecraft um, before it got popular and all that. I had actually just bought it uh, maybe three or four months before I went to the school, so there was a lot of cool stuff. I lost that kill, by the way. I was very pissed off about that. Um, so, I basically had no one to play it with. I had a couple friends that I had introduced to at my old school who had played it with. And so, the reason why I wanted to bring it to the school is so that I could have somebody to play it with and have a lot of fun. I ended up doing, like, a few different occasions when I actually stayed up to about 4 or 5 in the morning just playing Minecraft because I introduced it to a couple of my friends. It was pretty cool. Uh, the, the game itself really caught on uh, about two weeks after I introduced it to the first person. People were like, yo, what's that you're playing? And then they said, hey, the game's called Minecraft. You should check it out. And then they check it out, find out that the game's only worth like 20 bucks, so it's a very easy-to-buy type game uh, because the school that I go to is a private school, and they all have money. Um, except for the ones that are middle class, in which case they have some money and enough to buy a game that's only 20 bucks. So, um, then after a while, the game, like I said, became a learning mechanic, uh, and they taught it to people who were just using, uh, learning how to use computers so they could familiarize themselves with uh, the keyboard, the keypad a little bit more, uh, the keyboard. Why do I keep saying, try saying, but I cannot speak at all at any point. Words is very difficult for me to do. So, uh, Minecraft was the first game that I introduced to them. And after that, I sort of set a uh, pattern for uh, things to come. Oh god, I really misused that Verf gun horribly. I almost died here, I think. I should have died there. I really should have. But because of my special, I didn't. That was really a stupid move. Anyway, I sort of set a precedent. Uh, after Minecraft, I sort of introduced... Um, a lot of different games, not only to just the school, but to my friends in general. Um, the next game that really can comes to mind when uh, talking about you know games that I've introduced to them is uh, 
That was called. Uh, robot roller dinner and disco dodgeball. R R D D D. I saw. I think it was a uh, Gold Glove TV played it once. And uh, because of YouTube, I've actually found a lot of different games, and that's how I normally tell people about these. Uh, Minecraft, I found through. I miss that Annihilator so horribly. That, uh, I'm so bad at this game sometimes, by the way. I, just in case you didn't realize. Um, where was I? I keep getting sidetracked. I look at either the snow or the t video, and I lose my train of thought. Um, the snow's not sticking, by the way, so no fear on that one. What was I going to say? Um, yeah, RRDDD. Most of the games that I play um, are because of YouTubers that I watched. And I had watched Gold Glove do RRDDD. I had watched Nova and Spoon play Minecraft. Um, and that was back in Alpha, before the game was actually um, fully released to the public and you could buy it. Like, it was still in uh, production and stuff. They were still working on it a lot. Um, and Notch still owned it then, too. Which is a long time back now, if you think about it. Um, in the game's history, at least. Not in the actual time, but in the game's history. It's a long time ago. So, RRDDD, I ended up buying it for three of my other friends because there was a deal that if you only paid $25 or something like that, you could get four different copies of it. And I was just like, hey, I'm not going to play this by myself anyway, so I might as well give my friends some time. Let's see if they can... Uh, learn how to play the game, have fun with it, because I don't like games like that too much, but I thought it'd be an interesting change up every now and again, and it was, it was a fun game, um, I ended up getting one of my friends, uh, he sort of really liked the game, so he played it a lot, but he didn't play it too much because he uh, doesn't play video games that much anymore, he watches a lot of uh, anime instead, but uh, if he were to be still in the uh, like really big gamer type thing, that would be one of the games that I think that he would play. And I don't think I kill her here. No, I did. There was one time when I had like her really low, and she didn't die because I just kept missing. I either missed the annihilator, the twisty rockets, the laser guided rockets, or just my regular shots. And it was really poor play. Anyway, so the um, next game that I brought there, and this one wasn't even really fully me. This was another friend of mine. Uh, we were playing, and it was actually this year. We were playing a game called Red Crucible 2, which is a very terrible first-person shooter that you can actually, uh, it can go to uh, second player too. Not second player, third person. What the fuck am I trying to say? Um, it's But it's a multiplayer first-person shooter game that for today's like standards, it really doesn't meet it. For maybe back in like t 2006, it would have been a pretty good game, but it just doesn't meet today's standards. The game was really fun because we'd like to screw with people. We'd like to, uh, a lot of the time I would sit and snipe the entire game and just, like, camp. And then I'd tell people, you just got wrecked. You know, kind of stuff like that. I liked being a troll. That's normally what those kind of games are like for me. I just like to troll people. Um, I don't normally like to actually play the game. I just like to uh, mess with people. And so, um, he and I started getting really into it. And so we showed a couple of other, our other friends and uh, they got into it a little bit and we had like a huge clan of about seven people that were playing the game it was a lot of fun um but then after a while i was sort of just like you know as i always do with first person shooters i just really wasn't feeling it it wasn't really the game that i was hoping i would want to play and i get destroyed by the freaking ramming power there big show strength plus ramming power equals insta death um, so yeah, Red Crucible 2. Not one of my favorite games, but I did get it. You know, I, get, I had a really big... Uh, I, I got a really big following behind it for a time. And up until... I want to say about two weeks ago, that was the game of choice that people would play. Um, but now, the game of choice. Like, it went from Minecraft to Red Crucible 2 to uh, the next game, Town of Salem. Um, I found this actually through RPG Minx. And uh, a little bit through Z, Z Royal Viking as well. Two of my favorite YouTubers. I don't watch RPG Minx nearly as much as I would like to. Uh, merely for the fact that uh, I prefer uh, Z. And I have a few other like uh, lesser known YouTubers that I want to support. Um, instead of like the big names like everybody else likes to do. I have lesser known YouTubers that I just find. And I'm like, hey, I think I like this person's stuff. And I watch them a lot. Uh, because they do still uh, upload and do stuff a lot. 
And when they don't, I'm working. So and that's pretty much how this is going down anyway. So cool. Um, but the town of Salem, I found it through uh, YouTube and didn't actually play it until Monday. But I found it on like a Saturday. I got the game. It's a free to play browser game. I might leave a just link in. Ah, I might leave a link in the description below on where you can go to get the game. You can find it on Steam and buy it for five bucks, which basically only gives you five dollars of in-game cash, which will help you customize things quicker instead of having to work your way up and uh, earn the coins yourself and by winning games and unlocking different uh, achievements and stuff like that. Which, after a while, is something that you need to do in order to get all the uh, different collectibles. If you're into that kind of thing. So, if you want to get a head start, uh, you could probably get a doge with that much money. I think it gives you 1500 or 1300 dollaroos on the game. And uh, generally, by winning a game, you earn 10 coins. And most of the, um, most of the different uh, achievements are 5 coins. So, it, it'll take a while to get you there. Unless you're doing like in-game achievements. So... Town of Salem, it's a fun game. It's a game of deception. Um, I was thinking about, as soon as I got my computer, doing a, a strategy guide on like how to play different roles. I know there's plenty of those out there, and lots of people have probably already heard of the game um, because there's so many different players. I've, I've never had a game with the same people um, more than once. Like I've not played a game with the same person three or six times or whatever, you know, some outrageous number like that. It's either I play with them back-to-back -back and don't ever see them again, or um, I play with them once and don't ever see them again. It's pretty cool. Uh, but yeah, uh, the game of deception uh, part of it is really not why I enjoy the game. I enjoy the game. Oh shit, he just destroyed me with his finishing move. That was crazy. I had it on the rocks. That's what it was. That's the one where it was. Anyway, um, I, I don't really play the game of deception too much. I kind of... The funny thing about the game is that people don't trust you and so you tell them the truth and they'll think you're a jester like trying to get yourself hung and so I normally play that card a lot because it's funny um, I played a game where I was the godfather and first day I told everybody yo look I'm godfather and I started calling what the uh, death notes would say and I wrote the most random death notes so there would be no other way for anybody else to have gotten the death notes correct and then um, I told people hey look I'm the Godfather, but they never believed me, and uh, I we ended up winning. The Mafia did, with none of us dying. No, sorry, one person died the first night, and uh, for the rest of the game, none of us died. It was crazy. By the way, the snow's sticking now. That's pretty neat. Uh, the video's coming up to an end. Uh, I will tell you, I think the video's like 16 minutes long. Uh, so yeah, but Town of Salem, pretty cool game. Um, I will be doing videos of it as soon as I get my new computer because it is a game that I'm going to be playing for quite a while. Um, I don't get burned off on it because it's a very slow moving game. And I kind of just like uh, messing around with people online anyway. So I might either do um, the strategy guide, uh, regular gameplay. I might actually do a uh, like uh, role playing type stuff, see if I can get anybody to join me in role playing. Um, I'll be doing some multiplayer with my friends. And uh, hopefully when all of that is said and done, uh, my channel can have a nice a variety of Town of Salem type games or uh, Town of Salem videos. Speaking of videos, Duels of the Roses, I am almost finished at it. I have Richard Sly Sheen of York and um, Seto Kaiba and then the final boss whose name escapes me for the moment. Um, I have just those three left. This is what I win by the way coming up. Um, it takes a very long time and it was very hectic. The whole time that I was doing it. I missed like three Annihilator shots. And uh, meanwhile Kane and Big Show are having fights. And I think Big Show gets up to like 21 kills. Something like that. It's crazy. Oh no it was Kane. It was Kane who ended up coming up and almost uh, catching up to us. Which is pretty crazy. But yeah. Um, after Duels of the Roses. I have another game that I've actually played on this channel before. But never finished. And I'm going to finish um, at least another section of that game. Um. Walking Dead, I did not get the uh, response that I was hoping I would get. So I'm not sure if I want to do that on camera or just do it by myself on my own time. It's probably going to be the latter. Um, 
but yeah. And that was the craziest one because it hit her, but it missed at the same time. Like you could see it bounce off of her like car, and then you could see it bounce off the wall as well. That's some weird game glitch right there. And I, I almost die here as well, trying to get those. I almost fell in to the freaking lava. Anyway, uh, my name is the Jackhammer Thirteen. Uh, the next game series that I'm going to be doing that's uh, going to be really big is uh, The Order 1886. So, yeah. Stay tuned for that. That'll be sometime in February. Um, until then, my name is the Jackie 13 and I am signing out. I'll catch you guys in the next video of whatever it is that I end up deciding to make.